Good morning guys, Ashantin here playing the wonderful Mega Mod, and I have been thinking about this area here. I have flattened this area and I want to take this road across. Um, as usual I am sort of, there's not a road there anyway, but I'm going to take it across. Yeah, the, across here. Right. And I want to pin, that's the iron shack, yeah. Now I want to have a look um, to see whether I can find, I've got the iron shack, I want the stone shack. Right, and you are going to go, yeah, if you bump into each other, I don't mind. Let's put you there stone shack let's get that one built and then we're going to do what we normally do because they look so good with them is to find one of the little tiny shacks and put it next to the stone shack that's fine and then i'm not even going to try to work out the right storage i am just going to put a stone stockpile um, I think I'm going to put it here. See how they get on with that. Right, now, this blacksmith, um, if we come in and have a look, um, I think I've built the house totally wrong. Which black, it's the old blacksmith and I like it very much, but I've got this whole layout wrong. And I think I've also got it in a place I don't want it. So, uh, this is, oops, not you. This is making iron ore. Okay. And that is iron. Where are they putting the iron ore? I have no idea what they're doing with that. Right, let's look for a fuel, stone, iron, Material. I wonder what iron ore counts as. Well, I think we need an iron. Oops. Can I? Can I get a stockpile here? I probably can. Let's put another stockpile for iron because we're clearly out of it. Um, now, I want to have a look at this road here, and it's three wide. So if we have a look at it, I'm just concentrating on this one area. One, two, three, yeah. And the reason for that is that I think I spread myself. That's the gravel road. I thought this, I want to just try this on either side here and see what that looks like. You are a herdsman and a dredger, oh please. Please no. Right, so I'm going to move this blacksmith across. I'm going to do it by building another old blacksmith. Um, would he come under refining? He probably would. City blacksmith. I can't build that at the moment. Small town blacksmith, no. Medieval, no. I want the old blacksmith. That's it, I want him, and I'm gonna put you, it's here I want you, isn't it, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna put you there, and then when I've got you built, I'm gonna move your house. So I want to use this area here. That looks very smart. What do we think of that, guys, for a mining area? I don't know, let me know, but I do think that the gravel roads add a certain something to this area. I really quite like that. Now I've got a church here and I can't see what I'm doing for all this stuff. Is that a general stockpile? It's a stone stockpile. Okay, I think I would 
is that a general stockpile? It is, and that's where they're putting, they've only got two iron ore there. So I want to, nomads have arrived. Am I short of people? I'm not. And I'm actually going to say, oh, I've come right across here, sorry guys. I'm gonna say no thank you. Deny. Right. Okay. Yeah, we need far more stone roads. I've put some stone road, because I do have a lot of stone at the moment. And I've been putting stone road along here. Let me just continue that because it's gonna help, frankly, with everything. So let's just get some stone road along here. And anything I can do to help these guys, um, particularly in this area, to get food, nice now right I think I want to move this why are you parking it there when there's a stone stockpile that's only 34% full don't answer that guys but we are going to put the stockpile for stone yeah I think I'd like to put it here That's it, almost as a measure to stop them parking stuff here. And then I want a general stockpile somewhere. I think this guy needs a log pile next to him, wood stockpile. So why don't we put a wood stockpile? And then if we put a fuel stockpile, maybe he'll put his firewood in there and let's just collect that vast lump of stone let's get make our roads a bit better yeah that's looking good that's looking good i may move things around i've learned a lot from be you for you and one of the things is never be afraid of moving things around right we have a trader what have you bought for us sheep oh real sheep and bison now I do fancy let's see we can get a couple of bison that's 1600 15 and if I put in 25 that gets me to 1600 trade right we've bought the bison Okay, iron shack. Now let's just hold on to that a minute. Could I afford um, two sheep as well? Two sheep, 1200. I can. Let's just trade. Okay, now what we're going to do guys so we're going to come over this way a little bit. I'm going to put some food a bit closer over here. And I think we are going to put a little bit of food south of here, or maybe just in the middle here. How much food, how much have I got here? I've got eight, ten. Mm, I'm not sure I like it there. I think here would be better. So we're going to do a 10, one, 15 by 10. And then we'll put some moss road, which we're using for the agricultural areas. Moss road, where can we put that? Yeah. Right, and then we'll put a little bit of moss road there, and then we'll put another pasture 15 by 10. <laughs> That's 
set and that's the other pasture so when those are done which they seem to be doing very quickly I think having the stockpile here helps enormously and also having a lot of labourers helps enormously it really does I think I've you know one thing I learned or I have learned from other people um, is to make sure that you have enough labourers because it really does make everything work much quicker right look at this the speed of it guys guys all right now the old blacksmith is up and running so what I'm going to do over here is I am going to oh my goodness right okay that is the stone shack yeah let's just hold on a minute on that one let me sort out the blacksmith first I'm going to put I am going to stop that so he should immediately transfer into there which he's done good so that's and we're going to make log and iron fine that's good now this house was very badly placed so if I go I want to I've got too much I want to do here I want to get rid of all the resources there where I can actually see what I'm doing standard pasture we are going to put bison two people one two close this is going very fast I am running at five goodness it's amazing the iron shack what am I looking at the iron shack oh I had it pinned that's right to see where the other one was that's fine now over here that's a stone shack so over here I've taken out that stone shack that's absolutely fine that's absolutely fine good so in that case in here which is the stone shack we will put we can put two people one two good and we've already got somebody living there but they need a pathway I think they've got to have a stone road as it's a stone shack don't you guys okay let's put a little pathway down to there good now we've got this out now let's have a look at this old blacksmith again and let's see if we can get this one sorted out now where are we um refined resources smithing it's this old, now it's this house now how does it actually fit ah I can't I can't actually work out how this goes is it meant to go there I think it's meant to go on top guys right well we'll have a look this one is clearly wrong so this one standard pasture you are going to be proper sheep not trade sheep two people one two right that's bringing some food into this area eventually wow at the bison oh <gasps> so excited um have we got any storage we've got this medieval barn right here which is great um, I've managed to put the stockpile right up against the barn. That is unhelpful. Let's just Moss Road. Will that go there? It will not. It will go in front of the barn, which we want. We'll take it down the side of the barn. And mm. yes. 
There's a lot of iron and ore in there. I think I need an iron ore pile as well. Oh guys, look at this. Have I got that right, do we think? Well, I've got somebody living in there. Hopefully the old blacksmith. Yes, it's a two-story house. Ah, that's better. <laughs> right, now I want to do a bit more down here. So I think I need a... I need, I'm going to need a general stockpile, aren't I? Um... Material stockpile does. I'm not sure whether it counts as materials, but let's see whether that takes iron ore. That looks a lot better. That looks lovely, actually. Now, have I put him right up against the road? I have not. Thank goodness for that. Okay, let's give him. Let's see what the traders brought. Last time was very interesting. Uh, you've brought us food. We have 30,000 food. Thank you and good night. Right, let me get back to where I was over here. Yeah, we seem to be short of... That's a wood stockpile. He's got no logs in there. Well, just a few. Ah. We're not going to reach the dry goods limit. Okay. Right. Let's carry on with the mining area. Don't get distracted. This is what you do. You get distracted, you go off and do other things, and that's no use. Now, I want this building, yeah, and this one, I'm going to demolish them. <gasps> Shock horror. I'm gonna remove both those structures. Right, and that means I need another house here. So, what should we do? Have I got a little house that would go with that? If we look at rustic abode, no. Nope, we're not gonna take you, or are we? This time round, I have to be, oh, I have to be a bit careful here. Nomads have arrived. How many have arrived? That's the key thing, isn't it? Let's have a look. 19. I think I'm going to deny this time because I'm, I was getting a rod for my own back here. But it does mean that we need more people. So we do need more houses. We're getting slightly better, but not much. We're only just keeping our heads above water. I think I'm looking for... The town abode. Yeah, I think that would go nicely with that. Let's... Could I get two in? If I put two... Yeah, that might look nice. One... Two. Let's put two rustic abodes in. That Good, that's gone. Now, the next thing I want to do is to I want to clear this out completely all the resources because I cannot see what I'm doing right and I think just straighten up a bit more and if I go the other way round aha this church is beautiful. I built it far too close to the road. I don't think I can get any gravel road along there. I cannot. Hmm. But let's get gravel road going down here and there. And then we'll get stone road. Nope. We can get it there and there. And there. Right. And we're taking all this stuff out. Now, I've flattened all this. And I think I've got another bit to flatten there by the look of it. 
I can't believe how much I've flattened in this area. Yeah. Right. Oh gosh, look at this influx of people. They love doing roads. They really love doing roads. We've got these two houses built and I do think that they go with this. That's nice. And we've already got people in, but I do think that those look very nice with that, that building. It's just finding what goes with what, isn't it guys, sometimes? We've got stone roads there, haven't we? So, stone road to there and to the blacksmith. No, he doesn't get road there. And stone road there. But there's no way of putting road into him. Maybe you come in from the other side. But I do like that look. I certainly had it very wrong before. Guys, I think this is starting to look better. It's not good yet, but it's starting to look better. And I think we're sorting a lot out. So I'm going to take a cut there. And then in the next episode, I've got a plan for this area that I'm hoping you'll like. So please join me for the next episode. Bye-bye.